What you see of the landscape is an accumulation of successive designs. The naturalness of the landscape, in a sense, is, is accidental. The landscape in the 1700s would have been much barer and bleaker, in a sense. There would have been far fewer trees. There would have been a great many more architectural details. The Victorian period saw an enormous elaboration of gardens around the house and what you have now is a rather more austere but very beautiful series of spaces that really, I suppose, have been shaped by available manpower over the last century or so. The lake that on the north side of the house was created at the end of the 1700s, so that was all pasture. So either side of the house there would have been uh, hills and pasture stretching as far as the eye can see. What's rather special about the Castle Howard landscape is that there was an effort right from the start to take the natural topography and to turn it into a very big garden. The first priority of the garden was for a walled garden because you need to be able to feed your household and also all the workmen who are building the house. The walled garden is one of the most transformed parts of the landscape. It was a productive garden since its conception. It was a place where uh, there was almost constant transformation and innovation as technology allowed. So heated walls were built when the idea was struck upon. There would be hotbeds, uh, cold frames, just to try and grow the finest foods available. The walled garden itself only really became an ornamental garden in the 1970s. Prior to that, there was a long border along the north wall and there were exotics grown in there. There was a very fine conservatory and hot house, purely for ornamentals, we know from the 1860s. Now we do have a small vegetable garden, but it, it's nothing like as um, important now as it would have been back in the old days. Um, we grow vegetables which are used by the family and by the kitchens and by the farm shop, but on a much, much smaller scale. The Raywood collection is, is magnificent in spring. It's a pretty unique collection of rhododendrons. There are sort of uh, rare magnolias um, from China. Um, many, many sort of interesting and quirky or beautiful plants. It's a sort of an ever-changing, ever-beautiful place, really. <laughs>